Hi there. So as you may know, there are multiple ways to trade the financial market. There's the long position trader, there's the intraday the trader, and then there's the scalper. Now the scalper tries to scalp out small profits multiple times during the day. A few days ago, I had this poll on my Instagram, and I asked you if you would have liked me to explain to you a simple strategy for beginners to approach the financial market and start making a profit in, in Forex. So obviously the response was yes, and here I am explaining to you a simple scalping strategy to scalp the market. Now for this easy strategy, we need to look at two different time frame, the one hour time frame and the 15 minutes time frame. Now here we have the Euro US dollar chart. Now I hope you're all familiar with MT4, MT5 platform, MetaTrader. So uh, it's the platform that I use to um, trade the financial market. Now, first of all, without any indicator, we need to look where the market is going. So we need to look at the momentum because at the end, this is a momentum strategy. So without any indicator, we're looking at here, for example, the market is going down. So we have a downtrend. So I'm only looking for short position. I'm only selling, I'm not buying. <clears throat> so then we start putting our indicators, which is gonna be a moving average. So the first moving average that I need is an exponential obviously and uh, uh, with the color red so period eight so exponential moving average is only a type of moving average that places um what i would call like greater importance to most recent data so i need an eight period mo exponential moving average and then i need another exponential moving average with period 21 and I'm going to put it in blue, no, this is not blue, blue. So after I put my two essential indicators, I'm going to delete this line. And um, I'm looking, so I'm going just to look back in the market to see a clean entry. And here we have a clean entry for a short position. So I look at the market, I see that here, obviously going down, so downtrend and here, if I look a bit closer, 17th of March, here I have a clean entry for a short position. So after I see my clean entry, because the candles are below the eight, so the red line, which is the period eight exponential moving average, so the candles are below that, I go into the 15 minutes time frame. So here we is uh, 17 March, seven o'clock, because I might lose the position. And here it is. So, so obviously market going down, looking for a short position, selling. Now here I have my candles Here I need to find my trigger bar. So my entry point. So here candles are below the eight moving average. And here I have a candle that touches the red line. Let's call it red line. So this is my trigger bar. So I count five candles before my trigger bar. So one, two, three, four, five. So I look at these candles and I look at the lowest point of these candles, which is, is going to be this. Now, so this is my trigger bar. So I do not enter at this point. I only enter when the ne if the next candles th touches this, let's say this level. So obviously the next candle touches this level. So I'm going to entry going short here. Now let's go back for a minute and look at the five previous candles to our trigger bar. So one, two, three, four, five, which is obviously we look at the highest point of these candles, which is this one. And this is going to be my um, stop loss. Now I know for some of you that have already been trading the market, this might be a tight stop loss, but for beginners, it's essential to put a tight stop loss, like this is roughly 30 pips, which is good. And because you don't want, obviously you don't want to lose money. So you put a kind of tight stop loss. So you enter the market here, because this is our trigger bar. The lowest point of the five previous candles is this. This, the next candle of our trigger bar touches that point. So we enter the market and then we put our take profit one, which is roughly the same as the stop loss, which is 30 pips roughly. So 30 pips roughly going down here. 
so it's going to be roughly that's 298 so it's roughly going to be 598 yeah roughly here roughly here so this is my take profit one and then if i want to i open a second position that it's going to be exactly double that roughly here so this is going to be my take profit one and this is going to be my take profit two so remember when going short i'm looking at my trigger bar that touches the red line uh, five previous candles highest point of these five previous candles that's going to be my stop loss lowest point is going to be my entry point so if the next candle of my trigger bar touches the entry point i enter the trade pull my take profit one put my take profit two and that's it this is it for selling so, so going short position selling position then if i'm looking for buying i always go to my one hour time frame and if i'm looking for buying i let's see here now this actually is a so i'm looking for buying so obviously you can see here the trend has changed now the trend is going up so it's an uptrend so i'm going long i'm buying and that actually was a good point roughly around here say because the candles you need to look at the candles in the one hour time frame the candles are above the uh, red line so if the candles are below the red line i sell if the candles are above i buy now here the candles are above so i go into 15 minutes time frame 15 of march which is roughly here take a closer look roughly here so the candles are all above again the red line so i need to look in the 15 minutes time frame i need to look for my trigger bar the candle that touches the red line so this candle is my trigger bar because it touches the red line the period eight moving average now i count five previous candles to my trigger bar one two three four five i look at the highest point of these candles which is this one remember you need to look at the eye of the candle so of this candle here you need to look at the high now where the candle open or closes you need to look at the eye and that's my entry point now this candle which touches the red line eventually goes up and touches my entry point so i enter the trade now let's go back to the five previous candles one two three four five which is my lowest point the lowest point is this this is gonna be my stop loss take profit same as we did before we look roughly at the stop loss which again here is 30 pips which is perfect so again we look at 30 pips here so five seven nine we look actually at eight seven nine which is roughly here and then if i want to put a second take profit again roughly um 180 here so this is the strategy remember one hour time frame we need to look at the candles where are below or above the red line and then uh, 15 minutes time frame trigger bar because it touches the red line five previous candles lowest point is my stop loss highest point is my entry point if eventually the market goes as i predicted and touches my entry point here i enter the position long short pull my uh, put my stop loss and then i take profit one and two and that's it for um, this simple strategy to trade the financial market you need help in forex um remember to dm me contact me on my whatsapp and uh, i can get you started with a week free week trial uh, of signals and that will help you make profits along the way